Thanks, Tushy. Icy arrives at an unnamed town. There is not a soul in sight. No souls. Yeah, I am. I am. So the problem is, uh, while my apartment doesn't get hot, if I run, like, my computer, then it gets hot. And it was just too tough to stream over the summer with the, my room getting, you know, elevated to Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. The culprit? Most likely Judas. This guy's blaming Judas for everything. Quite literally, he's blaming Judas for everything. Icy decides to head deeper into town, not hesitating to follow the arrow. I'm not gonna follow the arrow, let's check this way. He's gonna be pissed, but we're gonna... Icy ignores yet another arrow selfishly continues on her own path. Yep, she's, the narrator is not thrilled. It's probably yell at me again. Uh, we're not going to upgrade yet. We're going to wait till we get about $200 again. What Icy doesn't realize is that unless she defeats Thor in the village, Ultimopolis Gates will refuse her entry. Well, it's really trying to keep me from going this way. I don't care. I'm gonna go this way. Got him. What else is over here? Oh, a gunner. We're not afraid of a gunner. All right, the barrier cleared. Is he gonna yell at me again? The gates to Ultimopolis are closed, just as promised. Icy has completely, totally, and unnecessarily <laughs> wasted her time. Her only option is to follow the arrow. Okay, you proved your points. You proved your point. I'll follow the arrows now. Doesn't mean I'm going to listen the next time he talks to me. Here, in this place. A beat to explore. Okay. I see ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the arrow. I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to explore. Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature, just like the attic. What the fuck is this? Look at that. Because I explored, I just made a lot of money. That's why we don't listen to the narrator. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Again? Can't you just follow the arrow? At least once? I'll follow the arrow if I... you prove that you oh, have cool well, things. Well, this level was never finished. Do you realize how much inconvenience I've suffered trying to make a successful game? A few flaws, a few bugs here and there. It's normal. Like this place. I never finished applying the colors. Don't look at me like Weedy. that. I know what you're thinking. In reality, it's really difficult to make a game. And it's very easy for problems like this to appear. Just just wait a minute. I know you don't trust me. I'll just have to show you. Oh my goodness. This game is very meta, Weedy. Very meta. Phil, this game is pretty cool. Archive room. Welcome to the archive room. All of my prototypes are stored here. When making a good game, fun gameplay is of utmost importance. I've been iterating on prototypes for over 10 years. Can you believe it? That's an entire decade. Here, let me show you my first prototype. 
This is a very early version of the game. You could change to a long-range weapon so that you could use both melee and ranged attacks. But then I thought, who in their right mind would care for such an amazing weapon? No player would want it. Not a single one. So, in the end, I completely abandoned this prototype. This is pretty dope. That brings us to the second version. In the second version, there was a sort of mix between the demonic enemies and Wait, the did, did you ever get the, um, you could the world record the enemy's when you were doing your 24 hours stream? For your own. But then I ran into a big problem. Cost. Don't you think it would be a waste to spend so much time on making such a complicated game? Only to run out of cash halfway through development? After all, games uh, do need to make money. Did you go the full 24? So I cut this version as well. Unknowingly, 10 years flew by in the blink of an eye. With all the effort I spent, I think a few scattered bugs or missing features are entirely acceptable. I think you're right, they're acceptable. I just want you to understand me and empathize with me. I sacrificed so much trying to make this a fun experience for you. You've done good, you've done good. I spent 10 years of my youth on this. Even if you're not entirely enjoying the experience, don't you think you could give the game a five-star rating? So far, I would say this like is a five-star game. Besides, who's gonna dig this deep into a game? The visuals are stunning, buy it. The producer is famous, buy it. There are so many reviews, buy it. I thought that's all people considered when buying a new game. Like a machine spewing out cash. Do you really beat all the games you buy? No, I've got a tremendous backlog of games I haven't even games played. Games are about entertainment. Don't place too much value on a few mishaps here and there. People will still buy the game, even if the servers are bad. That is true. People are sheep. People will still buy the game if there are bugs. There is true. I bought Skyrim so, like three man, times. Why not buy another? Oh, the screen went black. Okay, I get your point. Turn the lights back on. Thank you. After sending the Holy Throne, Judas was able to finally carry out his plan. After developing System I, he transferred all of his followers' memories into a virtual city called Ultimopolis. At the same time, with System I's help, the chosen one, Icy, was born. You got an achievement for that. Did I just, like, lose the game because I didn't follow protocol? It's making me go back to Ultimopolis. <laughs> Icy arrives at an unnamed town. Okay. There is not a soul in sight. Okay, you win this battle. Icy searches around the house for a trace of someone, a mark of some presence. It seems as if everyone has been wiped out. Icy decides to head deeper into town. Yeah, I'll do not it. Not hesitating, it. Icy ignores the warehouse in the distance and continues to follow the arrow. No, I'm gonna go back in the warehouse. Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid of any living creature. Just See, like can get more money. Oh Are no. You kidding me? I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. Again? No! Can't you just follow the arrow? At least once? I don't want to go through that entire thing again. I... Oh, well... Alright, we don't have to. We're gonna go. We're gonna reload the checkpoint. Uh, okay. Back at it. Icy arrives at an unnamed town. We're gonna go back to the warehouse, though. Icy I think searches I can around the house for a trace home. of someone. A mark of some presence. Icy decides to head deeper into town. Eric! Not hesitating to How follow the heck the are you, buddy? Thank you for joining to for my return to the streaming world. I'm doing good, man. It's my first stream since May. Ignores the warehouse in the distance. Nope, I'm not gonna and continues it. to follow the arrow. 
Icy enters the warehouse that is completely devoid Thank of you. any Good living to be back. creature. Just like the attic. Hope you're having a good night yourself. So we can just like farm money here if we want to. Can I go back in there? Is the money still gonna be there? Nope. So I can keep reloading the checkpoint and farm money if I want to, but that's not a very fun experience. We got plenty of money now. I hate the flying things. I can't line them up right. There we go. Into the house we go. Bad guys. This guy out. Can I go in here? No. No, doesn't look like I can. Alright, let's upgrade. Back to the bottom here. Uh, I don't have 400. Increase the amount of damage. Relaxed shield can mitigate. Uh, see through the enemy's attack and greatly damage their core. Chance for wrench crystals. Hmm. Uh, let's go with bubble. Guess we're going down to the basement. Ooh, boss fight. Thor. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, so there's area effect is pretty big. And he got me again. Mr. Gatsby! Welcome in, my friend. How the heck are you? How'd the rest of your stream go? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. This is my first stream since... since May? Glad you're a part of it. Peaches! Glad to see you here as well. Always love spending time with you in Gatsby's room. Playing a game called Icy, which is kind of a meta mind-breaking game. There's a narrator that tells me what to do, but I choose to defy him a lot, and he fucks with my game every time I defy him. boss fight. Down goes Thor. As I see the John. Thor, the gates to Ultimopolis slide open. Big John. That is right. Let me get a shout out here. I'm not going to follow the arrows. I don't have a choice. I have to follow the arrows. Uh, also gets... John Boy, how was your night? It's really good, John. I really like this game. As I was saying before, there's a narrator. He tells you what to do. You can either listen to him or you can defy him. But when you defy him, he messes with your game. He'll, like, freeze the screen. He'll increase the volume. Um, uh, he brought me to a glitched room and complained that he spent 10 years making this game and that I'm not listening to him. He made me feel really guilty about not following the path. Which I think was the point. And now we go 
this way. We were here before. I see follows the arrow, getting closer to the main gates of Ultimopolis. What I see must remember is that she must always follow the arrow. Otherwise, she will be lost. See? He's telling me I must always follow it, but I don't. Come on. Got him! Got him! Can I go up? Anything up? Nothing's up. Okay, the door should be open The now. gates to Ultimopolis are open. Icy is one step closer to Judas. All she needs to do is continue following the arrow. This game also apparently has a ton of different endings. Icy enters Ultimopolis only to be greeted by an empty shell of a city that once flourished. Only the dilapidated buildings give some hint of Ultimopolis's past splendor, of what used to be, before Judas brought destruction. This Judas is a bad dude. Or so they say. Maybe the narrator's the bad dude here, I don't know. Icy arrives at a metro station and decides to take a look inside. Trying to lead me into the bombs, you gunners. I know what you're trying to do. Think I'm gonna fall for that trap? No sir, Bob. I want you for Judas. That's a creepy looking dude. That Uncle Sam. Icy finds another strange box. What do we get? What do we get? Icy discovers that she can now easily pass through steel bars. Ooh, we can phase. Icy resumes her journey, following the arrow to the left. Nah, we're gonna go back up. Alright, we can't go back up. We have to go down. I tried. Can we go to the right? We can go to the right. He didn't want us to go to the right. Icy ignores the arrow. She doesn't notice the disturbing feeling hanging in the air. I do not notice the disturbing feeling. I'm sorry. Let's just go down. Oh! That bomb got me. He's the creator of the game. He created Icy. My super attack. Oh, this guys are annoying. Did I get him? I got him. All right, he's not yelling at me anymore. That's a good sign. Nope, I didn't kill him yet. Got him! Alright, anything up? Ooh, there's a lot of things up. Alright, maybe not. It's just the one thing up. She should turn back. Her target is not here. Well, I'm not gonna turn back. You can't tell me what to do, narrator. Who do you think you are? You 
think you have control over me just because you made this game? It's a new enemy here. Not a very threatening enemy. Alright, let's go up. Let's go up because the arrows want me to go down. Uh oh. Oh, I see. You never learn, do you? You never listen to my advice. I know. I've already said dozens of times that you must follow the arrow. I'm not your enemy. Do you think I'm trying to hurt you? I do not think you're trying to hurt me. But at the same time, don't create paths and expect me not to follow them. Do you think that this path will lead you to the truth? Perhaps. Ooh, what's this kind of... Every tank? person has their own inner demons. Do you think a quest for the truth will help you banish yours? It might. I understand your dedication to the chase. The truth is just a lie, however. The truth is Every a lie. Every being's self is determined by the heavens. Why must you insist on tracking down an elusive truth? What your eyes can see may not exist at all. Instead, all you're seeing is an elusive Do you really want to unveil this truth? Let's keep going! You've actually already seen it, though perhaps in the form of a corpse. Or was it the corpse of yourself? You've seen a glimpse of the truth, but you haven't seen it in its entirety. Because you only see what you want to see. You purposefully, directly ignore my directions. You simply want to resist me. I do. But in reality, it's meaningless, no? I don't know if it's meaningless. That, perhaps, is the truth which you should see. Did this dude just kill me? This is the truth you seek. What is the truth I seek? Yusi is extremely happy. Yusi does not know why she is here. Yusi? Nor how she arrived at this place. However, she feels free. No one is forcing her to make a choice, but she feels alone. Lost. This is interesting. One day, Yusi left this I'm place not this. and soared across the world. Until she met them, her new friends. Yusi was finally no longer lonely. She was free to choose her own path. Yusi could feel a deep connection between the three of them. Ah, this is true friendship. This is what Yusi was searching for. This is what I wanted all Yusi on. was truly happy. There's Icy. And Icy killed everybody. So Icy's the villain. Maybe. This is weird. Only when the shackles of a mortal body are cast off is one finally able to acknowledge their true self. The price, however, is a heavy one to pay. Judas' suggestion was turned down by those observing the experiment, and only when Judas peered into the Necromicon did he catch a glance of the truth and the Yellow King. The plan for a chosen one was put forward, and only the one would ascend to the Holy Throne. Achievement unlocked, Icy Usi. So now what? Seriously? Gotta go back to the metro entrance. Icy arrives at a metro station and decides to take a look inside. <sighs> this narrator is not letting me do anything fun. Okay. 
drop down, follow his direction. Is that a dead Usi right there? Do you see that? Or dead Icy, I should say. Uh, we're not gonna operate again. We need a little few more dollars. Ooh, boss fight. Puck. We can handle Puck. Ooh, a lot of spiders. I do not like spiders. Stevie is afraid of spiders. Icy is not. Exercise my spider fearing demons right here. Chop off those legs, dead. Here we go up. Oh? A dead end? That's not right. There shouldn't be a dead end here. You're gonna clear the dead end for me, narrator? There should be a... Teleport node, teleport node, teleport node. Metro transfer wants me to go up. Let's upgrade. We got 200 duckies right now. Uh, before we get all that, let's let's upgrade that down to nine dollars. Okay, so we have to go up. We have no choice. Icy continues to look deeper into the tunnel. Shit. Alright, keep going. Keep going. Spiders! In midair. Is that everyone? Can we move on now? I don't think it wants me to go this way, but we're going. We got money. Money hype. We can still go up. Or can we? Drop back down, go through the barrier that was just opened up, through the tunnel. Icy follows the arrow. She knows that she will find Judas soon. War, we can go down. Icy attempts to explore the area, <laughs> but there's nothing of interest in that direction. Icy should go back and follow the arrow. What if I do it again? She tries to explore again. There's really nothing there. Let's try it one more time. I've already told you, there's nothing here. Fine, uh. you win. Look, there's nothing here. Just a small pathway and some deadly puddles of water. You should really listen to me. There's still time. What? I said deadly puddles of water. <laughs> Can you not understand me? Why did you jump in? This is a deadly pool of water. There's no telling what sort of bacteria is in there that can eat through your circuits. Do you really want to jump in? Yeah. There are so many places left for you to explore. I'm trying to save you time. I'm trying to help you. I... I just want you to follow the right path. I can do that. Could it be that you don't actually like action games? Or do you just think this game is too simple? Or too hard? 
or that it just doesn't tickle your fancy. Oh, it tickles my fancy. I get it. I get it. Wait a minute. What's he doing? What is he doing? What is he doing to my game? 